hey guys before we start i want to say please you uh follow me on discord i mean follow me on twitter and join my discord server link in the description and also if you join my discord you can ask me questions for today i'm going to close the cha- uh, the discord channel uh of the que- uh, for q and a's uh for questions for the q and a today and answering them tomorrow and also please subscribe to retreat who made my discord server and and subscribe to one miniman one two three who um provides me with this game with my game with the gameplay on my videos and i uh, hope you all enjoy so and also follow me on twitter if i didn't say that already and let's get right into it Welcome back guys, this is the king of weebs here and this is what if Naruto was <clears throat> left the village part 9 so last time we left off with Rasa telling uh, the third Hokage and Haku and also Zabuza to stay back well told the third Hokage that the, uh, Haku and Zabuza will stay back uh, with Naruto because uh, he believes that the Leaf Village deserves Naruto and he wants Naruto to stay because he wants him to be the ninja that he should be for his own village because he wouldn't want his son to leave uh, the Sand Village so he wants uh, to Naruto to become a Leaf uh, Shinobi again. It's not that he doesn't like Naruto, he just wants to, uh, he knows that this will just help him grow and once Naruto comes back with Tsunade to heal Sasuke and Kakashi uh, so uh, th- well I already said this to be honest but I'm saying it again so basically the here the same things happen the Sasuke retrieval arc this time Naruto uh, doesn't really use the Rasengan uh, well wasn't about to clash with the Rasengan what he did is that he made a vanishing Rasengan so he vanished mid air and then it would blast Sasuke away because no one really knows about that technique and now Sasuke is tied up on a tree because Kakashi said uh, uh, that he has to reflect over his actions and he's like why should I reflect over my actions I didn't do anything wrong I was fighting someone from the sand and Kakashi's like listen Sasuke Naruto is back in the leaf village now and Naruto doesn't know that yet, he thinks he's gonna leave for the sand village and then uh, once he goes to Haku and Zabza they say we need to go to the further Kage's office and they tell Naruto and Naruto's like but why and they're like hey listen Naruto we need you need to get over this and Naruto understands why they're saying this because he, they, they want him to become a great shinobi but if he keeps acting like this and being uh, uh, his trauma will get in his way in the future when he wants to become a great shinobi or a great leader and <clears throat> Naruto understands so he says alright but I, I, in one condition if I'm in a team with uh, Hinata and the further Kaku is like I can arrange that so don't worry and plus the training exams are two weeks <clears throat> Pardon me. So uh, he tells him about the tuning exams. Not two weeks. Uh, he says they're going to be back up. All the finals will be continued around in two months or so, maybe more, maybe less. And now to that, all right, I'll keep training because he knows he'll have to fight um, <clears throat> Gara if uh, he actually gets to the finals. You don't know. There might be someone stronger than him, but he knows that there isn't. So while this is happening. Uh, in the shadows, in a cave, there were, yeah, in, <laughs> in the shadows, in a cave, nine shadowy figure, figures were standing on rocks, and that was Itachi, uh, <clears throat> Kisame, Pain, Conan, Tobi, Zetsu, <coughs> Hidan, Satori, Kakuzu 
and the other one. Is that 10? I guess there is 10, but uh, there were 10 shadowy figures, but the members are pretty much 9 because uh, or 8 since Toby and Zetsu don't do much uh, actually fighting. But in this way, if they will have to, they realize that four tailed beasts have already gathered together to uh make an alliance and they're worried about this so they decided that from now on if they want tail beasts they're going to have to move as a group not as uh, a pair of two and everyone agrees with that and they they say oh doesn't have to be in order uh, and since they did find out it has to be in order i'll just say they found out and then toby says we have two years to start capturing all the tail beasts one by one if we leave the nine tails for last i'm sure we'll be able to get uh, capture him especially if we're able to uh if we're able to use all the other jinjuriki as reanimations and they're like wait what do you mean and then out of the back corner of the cave comes out to come out two shadowy figure figures figures Oh my days, my English, I just woke up. And it was Orochimaru and Kabuto. Orochimaru says, I have a forbidden jutsu you have learnt. And it's called the reanimation jutsu. I have improved it. And here is a little taste of what it looks like. So then, out of the back alley comes out, I'll say the... What should it be? I'll say it was the third right kage and they they're all shocked about this and they're like wait that's that's the third right kage and then Ochimaru's like yeah and he if you guys can recall he died by fighting 10,000 shinobi for three days and three nights and they're kind of shook by this because they know that if Ochimaru can control him uh it will be a hard fight and then Orochimaru's like don't need to worry how about you guys try hitting him and they hit him uh let's say he done hits him because he's the most aggressive one and literally <clears throat> slices an arm off of it, the third Raikage and then the third Raikage just regenerates the arm because he is made out of paper or something I don't even know man and they're all shocked at this and and Orochimaru's like yeah, so if you can understand where I'm going with this, I'm sure you guys will cooperate with me, right, Itachi? Because Itachi's already thinking of literally leaving because he doesn't want to cooperate with Orochimaru. He knows that Orochimaru is a snake and he basically does things behind their back. So, I'll say in two years, so basically after the time skip, uh, there will be the Akatsuki will make their move so I'll say that the tuning exams begin and basically the Akatsuki take advantage advantages of this and uh, when the tuning exams well are about to continue with Sasuke's fight uh, well Sasuke left to be honest yeah he left so Garo gets a default win let's say it keeps continuing until the final fight which is Naruto versus Gara, and Naruto's like no hard feelings, right? And Gara's like no hard feelings. And before they start, the all the twelve or yeah, all the twelve shadow uh, shadowy figures figures appear with masks on, and they say we are the Akatsuki, and we're here for all the tail beasts. Killer B, Yugito, Naruto, and Gara get ready to fight them. And because they think that they're going to have to fight them since they're here for the tail beasts. And they're like, no, not yet. We're giving you two years from now to go and do something to protect yourselves. But there is no need since you're all going to die anyway. You're not going to escape us. And then they all body flicker away. They spread from different sides and then they will all meet up in the same spot. Before they spread... Uh, I'll say that Itachi basically threw a kunai 
at the third Hokage and the third, it was so fast that no one pretty much saw it except for third Hokage, the third Hokage and the four Jinjuriki and the other two Hokage. The other two Hokage were about to destroy it but then the third Hokage says wait and he catches the kunai on its handle and says there's a note on this and he reads the note and says I'm sorry Lord Third, I couldn't do anything to stop them and uh, he says I'm going to try my best to escape the Akatsuki and uh, this kind of makes uh, the Fotokage sad since Sasuke left the village to fight him because he thinks uh, Itachi is a traitor but in reality he is not he actually did everything for him and, and Sasuke just took it the wrong way and uh, so I'll say that I got plans for Sasuke and so while so let's say while Orochimaru works for the Akatsuki he actually is training Sasuke at the same time and Sasuke is getting stronger and stronger and Orochimaru is learning new things outside or with the Akatsuki let's say like different techniques that he can teach Sasuke and he actually t teaches his Sasuke these and Sasuke actually learns them I'll say by the first year he has already mastered the Kirin and he's trying to make a new hybrid technique with the basically he's trying to add lightning release and fire release at the same time he wants he doesn't just want a bit of fire on and let's say the mouth of the Kirin he wants a full fire cloak to just burn uh, just keep burning until the ash and so Itachi does, is thinking of a plan but he realizes that in this year they're all going to be working individually well in pairs and he realizes maybe I could but I need someone's help because he he cannot do it alone because if he does he will be hunted down while if he says the leaf did it and well if he says that a different village did it uh, let's say um, a certain amount of shinobi came he couldn't tell what, what village they were with because they were covering their headbands and they killed <clears throat> oh, uh, they killed Kisame and then he, they captured him so it would make sense but then he didn't know how uh, which village to say uh, to ask and so He's like, maybe I should ask the leaf, but then in his mind, he's like, no, I, I, I'm doing this for the leaf. Why would I need their help? And then basically a random falcon appears at night and he finds Itachi and gives him the note and says, Ita and the note was from the third Okage and he says, Itachi, if you need any help, you got me and the whole village also. The village has made a peace treaty with the sand and the cloud. So if you ever need help. Just don't hesitate to ask. We all will help. And uh, he said, and then he touches like maybe I should. And he sent a letter back saying, uh, talking about his illness and that there's no point of him coming back. He's just gonna die soon. And then the let's say two days later, another letter arrives to. You. Itachi. Itachi is moving just at night that when uh, Kisame and him are basically sleeping. Uh, <clears throat> Itachi writes and gets let letters and the letter said we have uh, we have gotten the legendary Sani in Tsunade to join uh, the village again thanks to Naruto and Jiraiya and Hinata. So even if you have the illness once you come back we'll, uh, I'll ask her to heal, heal you. And that just, uh, well, this happened all in a year and a half, and Itachi is basically ex has accepted this, and he writes back saying that he will need reinforcements on the next mission. Please come by this time, uh, and basically, the leaf, the cloud, and the sand make up a team with the strongest shinobi. Uh, well, they wouldn't put the Jin Jinjuriki there, but. Uh, they allowed Naruto to go since Naruto begged them and he, since after he found out that Itachi did all this well I say he found out because he was he saw the Fertokage writing and he could tell his feelings and who he's writing to and he asked and he found out so he wants to help 
because he still does want to get Sasuke back even though he wasn't his best friend he was a friend that he let go and uh basically i'll say that Sasuke went off undetected uh, by not even telling Sakura about it uh, he, and then basically yeah and so basically what happens next is let's say in a week uh, so, uh Kaka I mean not Kakashi so Itachi and Kisama are walking down the street to an, the next uh, town to do their mission well not down the street so basically in the forest and then the, there was a massive explosion and Itachi saw her coming from a mile away. Kisame kind of saw her coming but wasn't really paying too much attention. He just saw some movement and he thought it were, they were animals. So Itachi jumps back and he sees that Kisame protected himself with uh, a water release due to the water barrier. And then basically what happens next is Naruto basically uh, out of nowhere. He gets hit but... He, even he could even Itachi couldn't see where he came from and then Naruto appeared out of nowhere he kicked uh, ka <clears throat> he kicked Kisame on the chin and Kisame was stunned by this because Naruto was using lightning release on on his foot on his foot to uh, paralyze Kisame Kisame is about to get out of the paralyzation until Naruto basically binds him with ice and uh, he he got stabbed and also he got uh he was immobilized and Naruto killed him on the spot because he knows what Kisame wants to do and he doesn't want Kisame to do that so I'll say that then Naruto says hey Itachi Uchiha you can come down now from the uh because Itachi was standing on a tree and Itachi's like yeah all right and uh then out of nowhere, basically, the Itachi uh, starts coughing, and Naruto doesn't know about the illness, so he's kind of worried about Itachi, and he's like, Itachi, are you alright? And Itachi's like, yeah, it's fine, I'm just ill. And then Naruto's like, what kind of sickness is this? You're coughing out blood. And then Itachi responds by saying, this is an illness I have developed over my years. Not sure if I can, ever, can heal it, but... I want to see Sasuke one more time. And then Naruto says, well, yeah, yeah, about him, uh, Sasuke left. And Itachi is like, wait, what? Why didn't it? Wait, what? And then Naruto says, if you're, if you're wondering why the Fertile Kage didn't tell you, is that it's because he didn't want you to go and find him and ruin the mission that you're on. And then he said that once we... Uh, once basically you came back to the village you would uh we would make a team to find uh sasuke and itachi accepted this and just saying I'm, I'm talking about itachi right now so i didn't talk about what naruto did over this one and a half year and so basically itachi comes back and now we will cover on what naruto did so uh let's go back uh before after the uh the Akatsuki made themselves known. Uh, Naruto and Garo continued the fight. Naruto came on top because uh, even though Garo was using his whole arsenal against Naruto, Naruto realized that he had no other chance to even uh, to except for trying. And what he did is to finish the fight off, he basically broke through Garo's defense. He did the water Rasengan, a uh, water prison Rasengan, to not hurt Garo too much. So as soon as he exploded, Garo was trapped in a water prison. And that was at the end of the fight. The fight was actually pretty cool. And what Gara did is that first he did a sand tsunami. And then he used all the sand around him to uh, make impaling spears. And uh, he tried to... It was like so the shadow needle jutsu, you know, that one. And basically, Gara got it off, got the idea from Shikamaru. Shikamaru could see that because... Garo made sand needles to attack Naruto from all sides since that's why he did a sand tsunami first. So he had sand all around and Naruto decided to 
pull off the stunt that he's never done. So basically, he did a wind rasengan, not a wind sh uh, rasen shuriken. He did a wind rasengan onto the floor, so he made a spinning motion. And there was a little tornado at first, but then he disappeared, and Naruto wasn't there anymore. And then uh, Naruto was on top of uh, well, he was in the sky because he jumped up and says. And then he says, it's over, it's over, <clears throat> uh, Gara. So first, you, he has two Rasengans in his hand. One is the lightning release. First, he falls that one. No one pretty much knows except a few people. And that one literally cracks uh, Gara's sand once he disappears and comes back. And he, Gara's like, wait, what, what just happened? And then uh, there was no time to, for Gara to actually think what happened. He still had to protect himself since Naruto was coming down at him with all his strength. And Naruto literally was uh, penetrates Gara's defense and he hits Gara and Gara's in a water prison and he wins for like that. So then after that, Jiraiya comes and talks to the Fertil Kage says, saying that Naruto and Gara need to start training. And Rasa was there too and the Ra Raikage as well, they were just talking. And Rasa's like, I will train my son personally. But how about the <clears throat> nine tools kid? And then Jiraiya says, like, I can train him. And uh, they agree with that since Jiraiya is actually really strong. If no one knew, Jiraiya is actually one of the strongest characters in Naruto. Since he did go up against Pain without any intel and was able to take out three of his paths. And he w he didn't even have Mastered Sage mode, that's the thing. And he didn't have uh, as much Chakra as Naruto, like. Once Naruto finished the fight against Pain, he was out of Chakra, and he had mastered Sage Mode, and he and he had more Chakra than uh, Jiraiya from the uh, get go. So it kind of shows that Jiraiya is actually really strong. And if he had uh, Sage Mode mastered, he might have been able to uh, survive, not uh, being able to beat Pain, but I'm sure he could have beat like five paths out of six, uh, and. Uh, run away because of the diva path was uh, uh, strength he did he could have uh figured figured out uh, the cooldown time but even with the cooldown time uh he's not able to destroy the diva path even though he gets a few good hits on he, he won't be able to destroy the diva path in literally five seconds because it takes him like three seconds to get up to him and since uh he is kind of he is drained a lot and it is hard to get a lot of hits in in two seconds i'll say he can get like four since of sage mode speed boost and i could say that he gets there in less than 30 seconds like or maybe one or two, one and a half or two but let's not get into that so since he's not even part of the war if yet so naruto says so what do you want me to do and then jiraiya's that i want to teach you sage mode naruto is actually really interested by this because he did read a few books about sage mode and how it gives you strength and Naruto is like so anyone can learn sage mode right and then Jiraiya is that as long as they got the summoning uh, jutsu and then Naruto is like I'm sure Hinata um, might be able to do it but I'm sure you can train her right and <clears throat> then Jirai is like, alright, I'll do it if you not, uh, you, okay, I understand, you'll do it if you, I train Hinata, right, and Naruto's like, you're getting it, and then Jirai is like, alright, so, he takes uh, Hinata from her training and says, I'll be training her from now on, and Corona isn't too worried about it, since she knows that Jirai is uh, a strong shinobi that he trained a lot of people, she knows that he trained the Fufu Kage himself, and look what the fourth Okage became he was able to put down the nine tails i know he had to give his life up but still it was it's a pretty impressive uh, achievement to teleport a full tail beast bomb away and then teleporting the whole nine tails away and then sealing uh, splitting it in half and sealing it in two people and then still getting impaled by the nine tails imagine all that that is a lot of things. And he stopped the full war by himself. Like, the third Great Ninja War was, was literally pros stopped because Bear Ninjas were scared of Minato. So they just stopped it because of that. And 
how is he not meant to be impressive? So, basically, she allows Hinata to go. And Hinata is asking uh, what she's going to train in. And then, <clears throat> then basically, <coughs> sorry. Uh, I'll say Hinata, wait, let me search this up real quick. I just need to make sure. And he, I'll say he teaches Hinata the summoning jutsu. Hinata takes like maybe one or two months to learn it. And in the midway, she does still train in her taijutsu not, just to not slack. And Naruto isn't really uh, training for senjutsu yet. He said he will, but they want to improve his taijutsu even further first. Just to be on par, like on... The same level as Neji or Hinata because them two are pretty much like the better Taijutsu users. Even though Naruto has a pure strength and willpower to just annihilate anyone, I'll say he doesn't. So he keeps training in Taijutsu and he, by like, uh, let's say two weeks before the Itachi mission, he does still. He starts his senjutsu training, but he doesn't master it. He didn't even do the first few steps here properly because he wasn't really taking it too seriously because he knows he has Kurama, but uh, imagine he didn't have Kurama. What, what was he going to do? That's why he wants to train. And Kurama understands Naruto is like, because if he imagine Naruto didn't have the nine tails, what would he be now? Nothing, to be honest. Just a one, one person with a dream. Which is pretty much the whole world. And so he starts training, but then does hear about uh, Itachi. So he asks to go to the mission. So the mission is uh, with, you know, let's say, Guy, Kakashi, Naruto, and a few uh, Anbu members. And they do. Uh, they are able to uh, dispatch uh, Kisame, and they are able to bring back Itachi. And so Itachi has an operation and his operation is uh, uh, on his lungs and Tsunade does perform it yes Tsunade did stay because the fifth Hokage still wants a pre well wants someone to become the fifth Hokage and he wants to choose between Tsunade or Jiraiya he already did ask Jiraiya and Jiraiya declined so he's going to try to convince Tsunade and it's going to happen just saying so let's say uh, in a month uh, Itachi is healed, so Naruto right now is training. He is trained. He trains on Senjutsu, but he finally mastered the first few steps just to uh, gather Senjutsu because he isn't in a hurry. He's not like if he doesn't do it, it's not like the village will get annihilated straight away. While in the original, he didn't know if uh, they were going to come after him in the village, so he had to do it fast. Even if he tried his, even if he did it as fast as he did, he wasn't able to stop pain from destroying the, the village so Naruto does still uh, learn say senjutsu but not yet so he's in like nearly two months he's only mastered the first step and while this is all happening I'll say the attack on the sand village already began because the, rea the Akatsuki realized that Kisame and Itachi haven't been back for a full month and and they're like, we cannot be asked, we'll just start our mission and we'll get two new members. So, they attack the sand. The sand does send a letter, well, uh, a falcon with a um, letter to the Fertokage. The Fertokage sees this and uh, <clears throat> gathers, gathers, gathers up Team 8, uh, Kakashi, Sakura, because they need a healer, of course. Uh, so Sakura still has been training on the Tsunade. So, Sakura, Anko... Uh, I'll say Guy, Asuma's team, they're all sent, well, no, actually, that's too many, sorry. So, Naruto, Kakashi, um, Zabuza Haku, and Hinata, and, uh, well, Team 8, are all sent, uh, with, with Sakura, of course, so basically, they're all sent to, uh, help out the sand, and once they arrive, they, uh, see that the sand is half destroyed, uh, the, and... They ask where is the fourth Kazukage and Naruto's like, where's Gara? Because they know who Naruto is and that they welcome him back and they say Gara has been captured the and the fourth Kazukage has been severely injured. He he might not make it because he's been poisoned by 
the sorcery of the red sand and naruto did learn about the sorcery because he was in the village he actually learned a bit of pu uh, puppet how to use a bit of uh puppets a bit but not as good as Kankuro. and lady chio already did have the um change in her attitude so she isn't uh as hateful towards the leaf and the sand so uh, lady chio is in the hokage's um <clears throat> uh in the hokage's uh surgery room after the surgery they kind of stop the uh, bleeding and they wanted to cure they wanted to stop uh, the poison to spread but didn't have the antidote until sakura came in three days kankuro and uh, rasa were back uh, to full health not full health they were back up but not to full health like i'll say 20 percent they still need a dress so naruto haku uh chio team eight and sakura do still go and this time haku uh zabuza and no, Haku stays back to help out the others. Zabuza, the Kakashi, and Naruto do follow uh, Deidara. And Naruto is about to go KCM, but he doesn't want to show it to the Akatsuki yet. So he basically just gets to ask for the speed boost. And by the way, uh, Gara is already dead, just saying. So he gets Ga Gara and he actually Rasengan, uh, uh, wins the Rasengan Shuriken's uh, Deidara by throwing it this time. He learned how to throw it. Yes, it's kind of OP. And Deidara kind of got annihilated. He barely survived because uh, before he got hit, he realized he was going to get hit. So he used uh, all his clay to protect himself. And what he did is that uh, he made a clay clone in midway the explosion and he escaped with uh with without an arm and uh a bruised body while the other uh clay clone just got annihilated and they realized it was a clay clone and they say oh damn we let him go while this is all happening sakura chio uh team eight does kind of annihilate Sorcery and since Haku's there as well, Sorcery has to go all out from the very beginning and he still does get killed the same way, giving up and telling them that, uh, I mean, well, and basically saying goodbye to Chiyo. And in the borders, uh, now we skip a few hours later, they are already in, uh, on the borders of the sand village and Naruto realizes that Gaara is dead and Shukaku got captured. And he's so angry at this and uh, can sheds a few tears and says, why did I have to be Gara? Why? And then he, then Granny Chio says, hey Naruto, I believe I already have a leg under the grave. So I'm going to revive Gara. And Naruto understands what is going on because he did learn about this technique that Chio tried to use. And... Uh, he's like, wait, are you being serious? You know you're not going to, you know you're going to die if you do that, right? And Chiyo's like, I understand, but I believe Gara is more important to the sun than what I am now. And then Nart says, don't, don't say that you're not important. You're important to pretty much everyone in the sun. You've done so much for the sun. There's no way you're not important. And Chiyo says, even though I'm important, I'm going to die soon anyways and Gara is still young only a 15 year old he didn't deserve this i believe he should have another chance and uh chio is completely out of chakra and says damn i don't have enough chakra and then not like D do you want me to help you and chio's like yeah uh, sure and naruto gives a lot of chakra and it's enough to revive a uh, gara and gara is back and he sees Gran Chio on the ground uh unconscious and he's like oh wait did did Granny Chio just and Naruto's like yeah she did and Rasa and Kankuro came out with Temeri and like wait Granny Chio and Rasa's like no Temeri not now and he says everyone stay silent for a full minute to respect Granny Chio and and they all stayed silent for a minute and the next day they did have the, her funeral and she was buried and everyone was paying respects to her because she did a lot like i mean a lot for the village in the past few years especially after naruto came and she he changed her mind and 
While this is all happening, the two tails has been captured by Kakuzu and Deidara. I'm um, not uh, what Deidara, Kakuzu and Hidan. Uh, I'll say she was on a mission and she was captured. Even though she wasn't meant to be, she asked for the mission and she was captured. And you already know the three tails would get captured easily, and because uh, he's already on a genjutsu in in a genjutsu. They wanted to capture Utakata at the same time as Yagura and keep Utakata as a prisoner so then they could just seal him away when the time came but they couldn't find him and they guessed that he was on a mission or left the village so they went to find the four tails. Well, uh, this all happened while Naruto was uh, kept uh, in the one month of uh, Naruto training so in one month the Akatsuki got well no sorry my bad so this will happen right after the sealing of the uh to uh one tail because the one tail basically was captured just by two people since the others were going after the uh the two tails so they did split up once they realized that um the villagers the leaf village is not together anymore because they needed the two tails uh, one of the first two ginger uh tail beast uh seconds and the f two tails and the one tails were in the same village with the nine tails and the eight tails so if they went and attack there they would get destroyed because of the nine tails and the eight tails being in that village and plus the one and two tails will help them so four tail beasts at once is impossible for them and plus the nine and eight tails come last so the way is for them to get separated they captured garus they captured yugito yugito died she didn't get revived that kind of rhymed that rhymed as well <laughs> and also i'll then they went to the Mizukage, the fourth Mizukage. He was already in a Genjutsu by o Obito, so he was captured uh, easily. And then, while that was happening with Obito, the others, uh, so basically, Hidan, Kakuzu, and uh, Hidan and Kakuzu did uh, come up against uh, Asuma's team. Asuma's team does still lose Asuma, and that's that still happens. And then the fight against them still happens without Naruto being able to train he was training for senjutsu not with yamato and what happens next is that once naruto arrives with the uh, i'll say uh once naruto arrives with hinata uh well team eight uh, just to support team 10 with uh, who kakashi was under the uh, their you know was their leader for temporary temporary leader uh kakashi can was kind of annihilating uh Ka uh, Kakuzu's uh, free hearts he did it and then Naruto had to finish off the other two because Kakashi was out of chakra and he done was taken care of by uh, <clears throat> Shikamaru uh, so Sakura still went just saying just because she needs to heal them and Sai went as well because I I've never mentioned Sai Sai was the guy that Sai was the guy uh, <laughs> Sai was the guy that uh so I was the guy that replaced Naruto since Naruto wasn't there. I'll just say that it's the most plausible explanation. I wouldn't say unknown Junin or unknown Genin. So if I did, I'm sorry. Uh, just know that it was Sai. Uh, it doesn't really matter. He wouldn't have done much since he didn't really care about his teammates. And Naruto did change Sai's perspective on ninjas and everyone. And Sai is now good. He's not uh, like before. And just saying the villagers still hate naruto but naruto doesn't hate them as much because most of them hate him but let's say three quarters of them hate him but a quarter of them actually like him and say hello to him in front of the others and they don't care what the others say and sometimes they even protect him from others so imagine someone's that they were talking to naruto and they're like why are you talking to this demon and they'd be like they call him a demon again and ask at you or something like that whatever so uh, here the events go a bit similar just that Naruto gets there a bit faster so uh, Team 10 doesn't uh, with Kakashi doesn't uh, Experience the fear the fear of death because Naruto literally punched uh, Kakuzu right before he could even attack and annihilated him next so And then after this I wait, Yeah So while this is all happening uh, usually the, <clears throat> the uh, then after this uh, usually it would be uh, Orochimaru's death and then it's uh, the Itachi versus Sasuke fight. So Orochimaru doesn't die here. Uh, in fact, uh, Orochimaru tells 
uh, uh, tells uh, Sasuke that Itachi has been uh, killed because he wants. Uh, he told Akatsuki to tell uh, uh, Sasuke that Itachi has been killed by the Leaf Village, so, uh, someone called Naruto, and he will get pissed and join Akatsuki to capture him and annihilate him. So they did that and. Uh, Sasuke thinks uh, uh, Itachi is dead and he joined Akatsuki to capture Naruto and also they did tell him about Itachi's real goal and that uh, uh, he did this all for him and he did unlock the Mongeki Sharingan and they said you can't get out now you first need to avenge your brother and then go destroy the leaf village and he's like yeah so they did get the full team Taka or team Hebi I'm not sure I'll keep forgetting anyways so oh I touched my mic uh, I'm pretty sure you're getting ear raped so Sasuke has joined uh, the Akatsuki and now they went to capture the Four Tails. The Four Tails was from the Hidden, St Hidden Stone village but he used to be mostly alone and he did ca get captured instead of uh, Kisame doing it, it was Team Taka and then it was the Five Tails, uh, yeah the Five Tails and he was from the land of uh, <clears throat> Wait, he was from the Hidden Stone Village as well, and he got captured as well. Let's say he was on a mission, and then they killed all his teammates, and he got captured. And then it was the six tails, Utakata. Utakata was his, with uh, uh, with his love, and then blah blah blah. You know how that fight went down, and it was Pain who uh, captured him. And then it was the seven tails. Uh, I think it was Fu uh, from the land of uh, Waterfall. I'm pretty sure. I don't even care. So. I was meant to do a Fu X Naruto ship, but I'll say that while Naruto is trying to find all the Jinjurikis, now he's starting to uh, actually fulfill his dream. He's finding out that one by one they all got captured, and he's getting angrier and angrier. And now he just decides that uh, there's, and then he finds out that from one to seven tails have been captured, and there's only two left, and he let basically six of them die. Without him even meeting them or anything, and Naruto so angry that one day when he was training for Senjutsu, he mastered it by now. He he actually did. Uh, he got so angry and he realized that he has to dispatch every single one of the, uh, every single one of the Katsuki. And while this is happening, Team Taka, Obito, uh, and Pain do attack uh, Killer B since he was alone. Killer B does nearly die there, but luckily. Really luckily he escapes, he just got a really good uh, escape route by uh, <clears throat> Sasuke using the uh, Amaterasu on him and he decided to do the same thing and he escaped but this time even faster because he knows that he needs help and he told the Raikage, the Raikage did a 5 Kage meeting and well a meeting, a 5 Kage summit and this time by now the 5th Kage has been announced, it was a uh, <clears throat> it was Tsunade, the third Hokage did retire, but he still wanted to go to the third, uh, the Path Kage summit, so the uh, Tsunade didn't have two people protecting her, it wasn't just Guy and uh, Kakashi, it was actually uh, Hiruzen as well, and while this is all happening, Sasuke says that's it, I'm not working for you guys anymore, I want to go destroy the Leaf Village and kill Naruto, and then Pain's like, Alright, I'll go with you as well because we can capture the eight tails later. The nine tails is more important. So Obito, not Obito, Team Taka, Pain, uh, let's say uh, Conan. Are these the only people left? Holy damn! Wait, what? Did it go that fast? <laughs> oh no, they are still alive. Yeah, they are still alive. They didn't have the fight with Sasuke because Sasuke didn't meet they are Also, Orochimaru went because he wants to destroy the Leaf Village as well. And Kabuto didn't go because he was researching some stuff for the uh, thing. And Obito's like, we need to be quick. The Five Kage Summit has already started. I need to go declare war. Well, he's going. To, well, he doesn't want to declare war, but he will if he doesn't capture Naruto. So they arrived before the Five Kage Summit. Uh, begins and they start the attack. So basically, Tsunade is already out of the village. Same with the Fotokage and Kakashi and Guy. And so, the only people left in the village is uh, Jiraiya. And Jiraiya didn't master Sage Mode yet. He will master it while, uh, when the war arc begins. He will have a week to master it. He will master it, just saying. So, 
I'm going to end off here on a cliffhanger because I want you guys to hit the like goal of 90 likes. I know it's lower than what it was for part 7, but I haven't uploaded uh, as many videos. Uh, well, I only uploaded once, I think, or was it on uh, Thursday because I can't do F up. Well, it was on Friday, sorry. I can't do F up by sleeping at 11 a.m. So I stayed awake till 11 a.m. and then I woke up at 12 and then I went back to sleep from, I don't know, uh, maybe from two to six and then six i went back to sleep till seven and seven i woke up and guys i'm sorry for not uploading but today you will get two videos and also please go subscribe to retreat and mini man retreat is a big big help mini man is just as big he's giving me all uh, the gameplay for my videos so i don't get copyright strike to earn please join my discord follow me on twitter i am starting to post on my twitter and also you guys have today to ask me questions on discord and twitter tomorrow i will be making the i'll say 600 and something special because like you guys got me to 600 subscribers before i could even do my 500 special if you guys get me to 700 subscribers by tomorrow bro like it's a madness i'm growing fast thanks to all of you guys i'm sure you're all sharing my videos with your friends and everything anyways please please sh uh, sh like share and subscribe and please take care stay safe and peace